Hi, this is Shane with the eWWW Image Optimizer, and in this video, we're going to show you how to get the most out of the plugin for free. So, we're going to go over to the settings and check things out. So, the first thing it does is come up with this lovely wizard. Um, we want to speed up our site. Um, would love to save some storage space, but that's not the point of this video today. But we will give you some pointers on that along the way. Um, sticking with free mode, that's what we said. And so these are, you know, a lot of the settings are going to be right here in the wizard. Um, but there's going to be some extra tips and tricks that we get to down the road here. Um, so remove metadata, lazy load, WebP conversion, those are all big wins. Um, some bigger than others, especially lazy load and WebP conversion. Another uh, good win is making sure that your images aren't over a certain size. Um, we say 1920 by default. You could go with the WordPress default, which is 2560. Um, which is for fun, just go with that. Um, so the WebP conversion, lazy load, and, and the resize settings, those are going to be three big things. Um, this won't necessarily do as much for the front end images, unless you're using full size images on your website, yikes, but there it is. Um, so those are those. All right. So one of the big wins with our lazy loader in comparison to say browser native lazy loading or any other lazy loader is our automatic scaling engine. Now this isn't necessarily something we invented, we didn't build our own lazy loader, but we added on uh, this automatic scaling module to help make sure that your site is serving the best sized image for whatever device uh, the visitor is using. And so this can be a big win. As far as I know, this is the only lazy loader in the WordPress ecosystem that does this. It does a great job for most sites. All of our sites work great with it. So um, with WebP conversion, now we have one more step that we got to do, which is to pick a delivery method. Now, if your server will work with the rewrite rules, um, that's the best method because it's the fastest, it's the cleanest. Um, but I happen to be on a server running Nginx, so these rules won't work. I could go set up Nginx rewrite rules, um, but just to show you a quick alternative, what we prefer is the JavaScript WebP rewriting. You might go, oh, but it's using more JavaScript. Yeah, it's just a tiny bit. Um, just enough to go in and swap the image URLs as soon as it detects that the visitor's browser supports uh, WebP. So let's go ahead and enable that. Um, and then for these next few tips, we are going to go into ludicrous mode. Don't worry, we'll be your guide all along the way. It's not too crazy, just a little bit. Um, so the next thing is on the local tab. Now, we normally just have pixel perfect or lossless compression available, but one exception to that besides WebP conversion, of course, um, is for ping images. So here, uh, the premium, one of the premium tools that we use uh, called PingQuant, P-N-G-Q-U-A-N-T. Um, it's a pretty slick tool, and we've bundled it into the free version of the plugin, and so you can uh, max out your ping compression with that. Um, as I'll mention with a few of these settings, the reason this one isn't on by default or recommended by default is if you have pings that are photographs, this doesn't do a good job with those. This is for graphics. That's what ping is for anyway, PNG. But sometimes people upload uh, photos to their site in the ping format, and so this doesn't necessarily play nicely with that. Now, if you convert them over to JPEG, um, and then, you know, then you get a lot more savings and that would be awesome. And it would be better quality than what PingQuant will do to a photo. Um, and then the next uh, one is over on the Advanced tab. So it's all the way down here at the bottom with these quality 
uh, type of settings and it's the sharpen images option and this is a slick little setting that will um, Im really nicely improve the quality of your thumbnails um, if you've ever noticed that your edges are a little blurry on your your thumbnails this setting is for you if you haven't noticed then don't worry about it but it's a nice setting to to improve the quality there um, the default in wordpress for jpeg quality is already 82 which is uh, better than most of the other free plugins will do um, for compressing your images anyway and then we'll apply our our lossless pixel perfect compression on top of that um, so usually just leave that at the default now a nice trick with this is if for whatever reason you have your thumbnails generated at a higher quality maybe you had a plug-in like resmush it that had it set to 92 and your thumbnails are a little bloated you can go in and set this to 82 or you know 85 or whatever anything lower than 90 something for sure um, but 82 is a good number and then you can go and use a plugin like uh, regenerate thumbnails to go in and rebuild all of those thumbnail images with the sharpen images option and the quality and you'll have properly compressed images that don't look like garbage so that's a good win there and I will reiterate the sharpen images it doesn't really affect uh, the compression that we are applying with the plugin um, it does affect WebP conversion so that's good um, but the, the original JPEGs it's not really affecting them unless you would go in and regenerate the thumbnails so when you turn this on you probably want to regenerate the thumbnails anyway and then one last uh, one last deal over on the convert tab we mentioned uh, the whole photographs in the ping format deal so it can be a big win if you've got a lot of those or even a few of those if you've got any photographs in the wrong format in that ping format turn this on and convert them over um, make sure you check your image URLs it'll you know update the stuff in post but you might have plugins or themes that are storing stuff somewhere else so you want to make sure you check any of the URLs for your uh, images afterwards um, and that's again why it's not on by default it takes a little bit of work it's not necessarily just a set it and forget it sort of deal now after this is all set up uh, then we would want to run our bulk optimizer to go ahead and uh, compress our images and to make sure you know that we've got our WebP copies generated and any of our uh, ping images that we might have are converted over properly you know it's not going to convert images that should be in the ping format because they are already going to be super efficient so we can go ahead and run that and it'll go and do its thing and once that's done you're done now I will note um, that with regenerating thumbnails uh, some thumbnail generation plugins will trigger a re-optimization automatically or a new you know a fresh optimization whatever the case may be um, so you might not even have to run the the bulk optimize on your thumbs um, so if the regenerate thumbnails has already triggered or an optimization of the whole library great um, you would see that over in uh, the media library we'll show you that in a separate tab here if you switch over you know by default you're in grid view but if we switch over to list view then we can see you know what's going on here and how much space the plugin is saving us which is quite a bit already that's impressive so hope that helps and happy optimizing